I know Jake wanted to ask you a little bit about the changeup. All right. Yeah, it's 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 on my tongue here, and I just <laughs> well well because there I I know your your fastball ticked up I think in in college at some point, so I'm wondering yeah. that moment's got to be like when a young point guard has that six inch growth spurt, and now they're like, hey, I'm a small forward now. <laughs> like, I, I can ball. Up. Was it the fastball developed, and then the changeup became that much better, or when was there ever a moment when it's like, oh, this is it, <laughs> like this is nasty? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I always kind of threw hard. But like for where I was, I mean, upstate New York throwing like 88, 90 was like a like that's pretty hard because, I mean, there's not too many kids up here that throw that hard at the time. I mean, nowadays, you know, there's kids out there throwing 95 all over the place. But at the time, me throwing like 88, it's just like eye opening. And then next thing you know, I go to school down south and I pop out 95s and people are just like eye opening. Like, what? what wait, what just happened? <laughs> But uh, to be honest, I've always thrown a changeup uh, ever since Little League. Like, I didn't even throw a breaking ball. I didn't throw a breaking ball probably till I must have been, like, 10th grade. I want to say I started throwing, like, curveball. But, You're one of those kids that listen to the coaches. Uh, my dad. Not my coach. There my you dad, go. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> of course. He always tried to – he always wanted me to throw a changeup instead of a curveball. But I always developed a changeup basically throughout the years. So what I started out with was always a circle changeup. And uh, it's very hard to control, but when I when it when I throw it, it's really good. But when I went to college, I was mainly fastball, curveball. So I developed like a knuckle curveball. It was actually pretty good my freshman year, but then my second year, it just completely disappeared on me. All I had was a fastball. Didn't really throw change. I had to just throw fastball changeups. And I mean, back in the day when you're playing college and they're using those crazy bats where the balls are just flying off about 700 feet. You're just like, well, this stuff ain't working. You need something that breaks. <laughs> college is all about the breaking ball. That, that's definitely one thing. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I just slowly kept throwing my change up more and more as it went on. But when I first got drafted by the Yankees, they already knew it was good. So they, uh, what happened was in the first couple of years in the minor leagues, they didn't want me to throw it that much just because they wanted me to develop a slider and really just continue throwing that. So they would try to, li they would limit us from throwing, uh, like our best off speed a lot, just so we would get used to throwing our set, our other secondary pitch. That's brutal. As a but, competitor, that sounds like, come on guys. But, uh, I mean, I get I get what they're trying to do. So like yeah. that's why we would throw two, three innings and really try to develop our pitches. But uh at the time I just never really got a feel for a breaking ball after my first year of college. It just disappeared. No idea where I went. And uh more or less in two thousand eleven, I I actually so I went from throwing a circle changeup to basically like a two seam changeup. And in twenty eleven when I was in Charleston my uh, I was just throwing like a side before the game one day, and uh, the pitching coach Carlos Santos comes up and he goes, he's like, "How do you hold that?" Because it, it was good, it fades a lot, it was slow, but I showed him and he's he's like, "Why do you hold it like that when you? How do you hold your fastball?" I was like, "Four seam." He's like, "Why don't you just, you know, hold it like a four seam changeup?" I was like, "Uh, oh, all right." <laughs> Next thing you know, I started getting more bottom out of it, so I was like, "Wow, all right, looks like we're throwing this." He's like, "Yeah, ta da." <laughs> there you go and uh so basically from there in 11 it just took off and i just started throwing that instead and i mean i didn't really use it a whole lot until i want to say 2015 when i couldn't throw a fastball for a strike so i needed to throw something for a strike you know that was a change up at the time yeah and then it looks like i'm looking at the baseball savant last year was the first year you threw the, your change up more than your fastball was that just yeah. happenstance by, I mean, facing a lot of lefties and the way that you were used out of the pen, or was that a cognitive decision by you guys? Like, Hey, let's, let's switch this up. Yeah, it was a, it was more of a kind of like analytic thing. I mean, if they really want, they would want me to throw my change up every pitch, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, you, you can't do that. But I mean, I, I get where they were going with it. It was working. So, I mean, just to keep them, keep that kind of ratio was pretty good, but that's why I was kind of still weary of it. Cause I was, it's basically like a 50, 50 chance, I guess that the hitters guessing if it's going to be a fastball or change up, but that's why I really was like trying to develop a slider again. Cause in, yeah, you started uh, throwing one towards the end, right? 
Yeah. In 17, I had a pretty good one. And then it just kind of disappeared on me in 18 and 19. And then I guess it kind of came back last year. Not really, but I'm still working on it now. I mean, I'm trying to throw like a true knuckle curve and a slider now. I think Otto said like you, you texted him was like, I got a knuckle curve now, right? Yeah. So I've been really working on it big time because that's what Chad came into the spring throw. And I was like, this thing's gross. The first day he threw to me, I was like, whoa, hey, what are we doing here? <laughs> I was like, this thing's yeah. gross, dude. He's like, yeah, I just threw it all off season. He's like, I just started from like short distance and then to work my way back. And it, I'm telling you, that thing's pretty lights out. So I was like, now that we got this second like kind of off season, I just, I said, screw it. I'm going all in I got on it again. Because that's what I threw in college was the, the knuckle curveball. It was pretty good. I used to throw it like anywhere from 78 to 80. Pretty good spin. So I definitely want to try to get it back. I mean, I need something that just isn't as fast, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I just need something slower. Yeah. Really to like get the, the speed difference away from the hitter. That's that's basically what I'm looking for. But to add kind of a, a sharp breaking ball and a tighter slider, I mean, that would that would be great for me. How how uh, quick when you snap one of those change ups off or th- release one of those change ups? Do you know like that's perfect? Because sometimes, <laughs> like watching, you can tell before. I think there was some at bat against uh, uh, like a, it was a White Sox hitter. You just threw three in a row, just yeah, three change ups like right <laughs> right down the middle in a row, and it was like that guy's not going to hit that at all. Like, do you have that confidence in the change up when you're feeling like at your best? You just like, well, here you go. I will say there are, I would say not always do I have like a, a confidence when it leaves my hand. I mean, I, obviously as I throw the pitch, I do, but there are times where I let one like right, right as I'm releasing it, I know it's a good one, but I would say for the most part, I would, I wouldn't say I definitely think it's going to be a good, like the ones down the middle, I get pretty worried about. Not going to okay. lie. I think it's just that they're guessing and they just com- guess completely wrong. <laughs> and, it's got so and much it's, movement. It's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference with the move. And it does. a lot of people have said, like, they can't see it out of my hand. So oh, That's cool. They're just guessing fastball at that point, and it's, they're just way too ahead of it. 